In the days following Pride celebrations, Planck began to suspect he had been infected with a sexually transmitted infection, STI, and took a full panel test. But when he came down with a fever and body aches, he contacted his doctor about whether he might be infected with monkeypox, too. Monkeypox has long been studied in West Africa, where it is endemic. But due to its extreme rarity in the rest of the world, U.S. clinicians were largely in the dark about the signs of the disease and how it spreads. I generally trust my PCP a lot, but I could tell that he didn't really have a lot of knowledge about, monkeypox, I don't fully blame him for that, Planck said. Monkeypox is considered a differential diagnosis disease, which means that providers run through various possible reasons why a patient may be experiencing certain symptoms before landing on monkeypox. Planck divulged much of the relevant information about his worrisome symptoms and social activities in an email to his doctor. But for some patients, sharing details about their sexual intimacy with a health provider may feel uncomfortable or invasive. Photo courtesy of Kyle Planck. The kinds of questions that are important for assessing monkeypox risk are the kinds of things that healthcare providers may be hesitant to ask and patients might be hesitant to answer because they have to do a lot with sexual activity and identity, Planck said. Some people are not super comfortable talking about being gay or being bisexual and with their healthcare providers. He reached out to a friend who got him an appointment at the travel medicine clinic at Will Cornell. Through a connection with the CDC, the providers there were able to order him a monkeypox test. Now, patients can get tested directly through their health providers, and the CDC is working to make laboratory testing more widely available. There was a six-day lag between when Planck was sampled and when he received the positive result, partially due to a holiday weekend. But by that point, lesions had popped up across his body and Planck was certain of his diagnosis. Photo courtesy of Kyle Planck.